zero the indicator. Let's call that zero for practical purposes, okay. And then I run the, the side here. And that is just an indication. I mean, if they had, I don't know if this is a square or in, in plane with, um, with the doll tail, but I suspect that at least this is the same measurement as it did on the spindle. So, um, that is a clear indication. It might not be as bad as this, but uh, on the real, uh, real dovetail way, but that at least is an indication. So, being lazy, I just turn it around. Of course, then place it, or then I count on the fact that these are parallel and straight. And I go it on the other side. Wow. Surprise. So that must mean that these sides are far from parallel, which of course is okay. It also means that I have to somehow really find out the relationship between the head as mounted, the spindle, and the way directly here. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this is the correct way. And then <clears throat> if so, then I can set it on the table like this and measure here. I can also measure to this. And then the question is, of course, how can I find out the relationships here and then the prove that this here in fact needs to be scraped and in which direction and how much. At least one way would be to use a parallel here and then traverse that way. So I found out, okay, I have one here that is for the purpose of this testing, flat. So I will use that to this, go on the inner side here. So I set zero here and then just run the indicator up here. And I can see it's pretty good. Maybe a hundreds different. Meaning that the way here is perfectly in plane with the way here, no, with, um, with the surface here. And then another way of doing this, trusting of course that, that I have also done the surface that I use as point of reference for the, the piece there, that that is okay. So zeroing then here, running up, perfect. So I have then every uh, means to, to think that this and this surface, these surfaces are parallel, no reason to think otherwise. Um, okay, then I know I can use that when I measure to this, uh, let's say to the um, up and down the, uh, the set axis so that I get this completely, completely um, in line. 
and they are in fact um, roughly I think it was 15 hundredths of a millimeter away from one another this being 182.2 this being 102.05 okay so uh, that corresponds I think with the first measurement we did and one way again just to do this the other way so swap this to the other side to see if this now uh, which I'm leaning against is um, faulty or not in comparison with the way here which I expect because we saw that these two outer sides were not parallel and there I can see I'm running off to that side and it is less contact so it is narrower as I go here so I can't use uh, what what knowledge I then uh, from that my measurement was that I can't use that side to prove uh, something about the way here I have to use that outer side because these are in parallel many ways to do that but at least that's one way and to measure the um, the side of the spindle I could have of course now now that I know that the error is in the head alignment here I need I have to address this uh, with this uh, alignment pin there uh, two pins in there and then I could have um, measured if I knew this was parallel to the ways here but unfortunately this side was not so I then um, did a measurement on the other side which was I could have used that side and I've done that just to verify also